Hi all, welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our video user guide for APT. I got a couple of hours of semi-clear skies last night, totally useless for imaging or running autofocus or anything like that, but it did give me a chance to test out a couple of other features of APT that really require um, a live session to show how they work, and one of them is focusing aid. Now it's not something I use very often, um, while it can be used with autofocusing aid, the simple fact that while you're doing an imaging session you're not going to be using focusing aid you'll be using focus craft with your auto focusing so it's better to go that way to begin with but I did need to get in and show you how this work and what it does so here's a video I recorded last night showing how it goes so in APT what I'm going to use for the uh, but the focusing aid is live view so I'm going to start that now um, you don't want to pick too big a star. I've got Alpha Art up the top here, but it's a bit too big and bright. So I'm going to use one of these ones down here. So what I'm going to do, oh, Alpha Art might be okay if I don't auto stretch. So clear. Yeah, it'll probably be okay. So best to be in one to one view. So I'm just going to double click on the star there to bring it into one to one view. Oh, I'm a little bit off. Okay, so we're in one to one view. Um, it's running live view, so it's it's going continuously circling. Now you can either go to your tools menu and select your um, the focus aid, or you can go into uh, and use the shortcut Alt F. So there's all it is there, and what you get is um, this area are your results uh, for your half flux diameter and your full width half maximum. Uh, you can reset the best as you're going along. Now, saturation, you probably want between 1 and 2 and a peak of uh, above 40. Uh, auto track stars handy because if your star's moving around a little bit, at least it can track it between images. And if you're using live view on a uh, Canon EOS, you can stack the images um, and here you can select how you're going to stack it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up and get on the star now I know it's well out of focus so that's fine um, I'm going to reset the best at the moment so I'll just let that go and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move in about 50 steps at a time at the moment uh, and see if we can get much better now, I don't often use focusing aid um, simply because I find it easy to use uh, focus craft along with autofocus but uh, you can use this with autofocus if you want but uh, seeing as autofocus during the night uh, during a session will use focus craft that's what I normally use anyway so I'm just going to keep moving this in uh, until I get somewhere about where I think it's these figures are going to be the best um, so that's still not good enough for me Bring it in some more. Uh, maybe we can come in some more again. Uh, it's starting to drop down. You can see the graph at the bottom starting to really drop down. Um, and again, it's getting there. 1.77. Oh, 1.81. 1.87. So I might have gone a little bit too far on that one uh, it's not quite as good as what the others are um, what will happen if I go out I'm just going to do it in five steps out I mean it's not far off what the best was so it's not too bad um, yeah I'll go out five now because I've got the uh, final inward move it's going to uh, go right out and then come back Yeah, I might go out another five and see what happens there. I've gone too far that way now. So this is really just a bit of a guessing game. Okay. And what you can do uh, while I'm in here, go to tools... Uh, select uh, magnifier 
and it actually if you've got binder focus a set there it will actually show you that star uh, in there so it's just a zoomed in view of it um, depending on how far in you want to go yeah, that's not too bad um, let's see what happens if I go in I'll go in two steps this time and see if I'm going to get better or worse didn't really make much difference I'm obviously well within the uh, critical focus zone uh, it's not changing much at all let's go in another two steps so as you can see the figures aren't really changing at all um, so I'm definitely well in the critical focus zone uh, the stars looking nice and round over here uh, so I'm quite happy with that at the moment yeah now I've gone that little bit too far I think Yeah, the figures are just slightly I'm only going in two steps at a time but the figures are slightly higher um, so I might try a three out this time and see what happens with that one and of course it's going to go there <laughs> as I go for my final move Yeah, that's looking okay at the moment. Um, what am I at? I might go out another couple of steps just to see how it's going. And this is what you need to do with it when you're using it manually. Um, I don't often use it, like I said, and I don't use it with autofocus aid um, simply because I use focus craft, which is what it works with while I'm imaging. So, yeah, I think that's... I'm not going to get it much better than that. So that's, you know, gets you close to. I'd prefer to use autofocus aid uh, with focus craft or even a Bartonov mask. I think I can get a little bit closer with either of them. But that's how your auto fo your focusing aid works. Um, it's quite simple to use, but it is a case of judging what's going on. Uh, it's, it's not as empirical as, you know, something like a Bartonov mask. I think they do a better job. But as you can see in the magnifier, that star is actually looking pretty good. Um, even if I zoom it right in. Yeah. So, yeah, nice round star. That's all you want. And that's it for uh, your focusing aid. Um, I hope you found this useful. Of course, when you've done, all you need to do is close it down. Close down that one and turn off live view. And I'm done. I don't know what's going on with the guiding tonight. My guiding is literally all over the place. Yet, uh, it's given me other problems. I'm not going to go into it now. Uh, but uh, using guiding assistance in, in PhD2 is telling me my, I'm, I'm off by something like uh, 90 or more arc minutes from uh, polar alignment. But I know I'm not because I've tested it other ways. So. I don't know. Okay, I'm rambling on now, so I'll leave you to it. Uh, wishes clear sky and see you in another video.